Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss the types of slab. I will try to explain this topic with the help of the examples and figures so it will be more easy to understand. Now, in general, there are three types of the slabs. The first one is the solid slab. This is the type of the slab that is mostly used. The second one is the is the flat slab. We also see, see this type of slab in our construction, but th this type of the slab is not so much common. Is the solid slab, and the third one is the waffle slab system. So I will discuss these three types of the slabs in detail and also their subtypes. So starting from the solid slab. So Solid slab is a type of slab which, which is being supported So the solid slab is a type of slab which is supported by beam and column Which is supported by beams and columns So if we look to this figure here So we can see here this is our slab system This is our slab system and here, our slab is being supported by beams, the horizontal members. These are known as the beams. And also, these beams then transfer the load to the columns. Here we see here the columns, the vertical members. So, our slab is being supported by the beams and column. So, such type of the slab will be known as the solid slab, in which the slab is being supported by the beam and column combination. And it is the most widely used type of the slab. There are further two types of the slab and solid slab. One is known as the one-way slab. And the other one is the two-way slab. So the main difference between these two types of the slab is the dimension. In case of the one-way slab, when the longer to shorter spin ratio is greater than the two, such type of slab is known as one-way slab and when this ratio longer to shorter span ratio of the slab is less than two we call such type of slab as two-way slab and also in their design we use only the main reinforcement only in the shorter direction in case of the one-way slab while in case of the two-way slab the main reinforcement is provided in both the direction so this was the about the solid slab which is only supported by beams and columns and this type of the slab has two further subtypes, the one with solid slab and the two with solid slab. The second type of the slab is the flat slab. Now in flat slab there are four further types. But first to consider the flat slab, the flat slab is a type of slab which is only supported by the columns. So such type of slab is known as the flat slab. Now if we look to the figure, here we can see here this is a general flat slab. If I show it with the blue, so this is the flat slab here, general flat slab, where the slab is being supported by the columns. Here is the slab, and it's supported by the four columns, vertical members, one, two, three, four. So the slab which is supported only by the columns are known as the flat slab. This is the first type of the slab, this first where it is only supported by the columns without increasing the column or the slab dimension. The second further type of the flat slab is the, this one, where flat slab with column head. It means that when the load acts on the slab, if we look to the slab, when the load acts on the slab, then due to the loads and due to the small size of the slab, there will be some punching shear between the slab and the columns. So the column will try to go into the slab. So if I draw the figure here, if let's suppose this is the column and this is the slab. So due to the load, the due to the load acting on the column and the column will provide some resistance. So the column will try to go into the slab. So there is some punching shear created in this area where the column is connected to the slab. 
So in order to divide this punch and shear, what we do, we increase the size of the column here at this portion. So by increasing the column size, we call such type of the slab is known as the flat slab with column head. The third type of the flat slab is the slab where we increase the size of the slab only in the vicinity of the punching shear. Now here we see here the slab size has been increased. Here we have increased the size of the slab so to avoid the punching shear. Such type of the flat slab will be known as the flat slab with drop panel. The fourth type of the slab is known as the flat slab with drop panel and column head where we provide the column head as we see here in the second type and also we increase the size of the slab in the in the vicinity of the column so this is known as the a drop panel so the combination of the drop panel and column head will be the four type of the flat slab and this is also used to avoid the punching shear in the slab so the next type of the slab is known as the whiffle slab where there are a lo large number of the small beams are provided in the slab in order to take the load. So if we look to the figure, we have this is the slab here on the top, we have slab and, and the slab is supported by the small thickness members which are the joist. In such case they are known as the joist and here we have seen the other direction, these are the small beams provided in the second direction. So these are the joist. So we see here there is a whiffle type of the slab where we see the shape of the slab looks like a whiffle, like a whiffle biscuit. That's why such type of slab is known as the whiffle slab, where it is composed of large number of small beams, large number of small beams, which are known as the joist. So large number of joists. So such type of slab is known as the whiffle slab. It is mostly for to produce the lightweight structure. Also, in, tip, in, in case of the whiffle slab, we have one-way rib system, one-way rib system. These are the further two types are two-way rib system, in which the ribs are provided only in one direction. Such type of the whiffle slab is known as the one-way rib system. When the ribs are provided in both the directions, such type of the slab will be known as the two-way rep system. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.